Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you saw my last video, I showed you how to remove a gel pedicure. It went pretty swimmingly, super easy. I loved how my toes turned out at the end. You can check that video out, I'll link it below. But today I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and polish those freshly naked toes. So we are doing a springtime pedicure and here are my feet after I removed the gel. This is a couple days later, so they're a little dry. They need to be reshaped, they need to be filed, they need to be smooth, they need to be buffed. So we're gonna do that. This is the Brio Silkstone Foot File. It's battery powered, super easy to put together. This part up here is also removable, replaceable, very cool tool. I've never used it, so we're gonna do that together for the first time today. You just flick the switch on and go to town. Just file your feet. It feels kind of crazy, but it works great. It's a lot easier to use than a hand held file. You can work twice as fast and it works twice as hard. So I just went ahead and filed down the rough parts of my heels, the sides of my toes, the bottom of my feet, the side of my big toe always gets really rough as well. And you can see it just gathered a ton of dust, kind of gross. But from here, we're gonna go ahead and reshape our toenails. So my toes were a little crooked. I had cut them down before I removed the gel pedicure, so they really just need to be reshaped right now. So using a medium grit file, I'm shaping them just into a squarish squoval shape. I don't want the corners to be too sharp, but I also don't want the toes to look round. So a squoval look is usually my preferred petty style. Once I'm all done shaping, I'm gonna just brush off some of that dust, apply a little bit of cuticle oil to each toenail so we can push the cuticles back. They were a little overgrown, but not too bad. I'm just gonna use this plastic cuticle pusher to whip them back into shape. So do this on every single toe. The baby toe always needs the most work. I don't know about you, but my baby toe is always like, it needs the most help. I'm gonna take this foot lotion. It's a very thick cream. I'm gonna rub it all over my toes and heels just to moisturize the feet, remove any excess lotion with a tissue, and then I'm gonna use 100% acetone to remove any oil or lotion or dust or anything from the toenails so that we can paint them. I'm gonna use the Nail Aid Keratin 3-Day Growth Base Coat today. I love Nail Aid products. You guys know I'm a huge fan of their Biotin Ultimate Strength. It comes in the teal bottle. If you're looking to rehab your nails, that is the product that you need, but I like this one as well. I recently got the Latest Lights Lacquer Collection, these gorgeous shades. Today, I'm gonna use this light pink. It's a very, very sheer shade. Do you not love the bottle redesign? So minimal, so sleek. This color is called Pinky, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the first coat to my toes. Make sure you do this when the base coat is completely dry. After the first coat, we're gonna go back in for a second coat, and I can already tell that it's looking a little streaky. This polish definitely needs three coats. I'm gonna be sure to clean up the cuticles as I go, but I love light pinks on my toes. It is my go-to pedicure color. It just matches everything, and it looks really clean and sophisticated. Here is the third coat. Third time is a charm. It was definitely necessary for this particular polish. The other ones you probably could have gotten away with too, but once all the toes are cleaned up and they're dry, make sure you wait between coats. We're gonna grab the Olive and June Super Glossy Top Coat, which is just one of my favorite top coats. It's so, so good. Apply a generous amount to each toe. And that is really the end of this pedicure. I'm gonna pop out my toe separators very gently. And here we are. This is the finished product. These look amazing. They feel so fresh, so clean. Loving this neutral color. It's gonna be perfect to get me through the spring season. I will be sure to link everything that I used below, especially the Brio foot file. I loved trying it out today and I am very impressed with the results. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.